Oh, well, we have you guys complete with their mission. You guys know the watchtower. Um, you guys report an artifact. You guys oh, there's a read an artifact. The Martian. Yeah. Oh, my God. Let me just go. Let me go. Let me go. That's not. Let's see that better. No, it's not. Sounds like he's accelerating his audio there for whatever reason. Oh, we have RP going. I still shake my head. Yeah, I was asking, am I still shitting the bed now? No, you're you're great. Uh, so you guys completed the th the third mission. You guys were to recover a cylinder artifact. I actually left an uh, outro for you guys. Let me go get that for you guys. It actually should be in your handouts, actually. Mission 3 outro. Mission 3 outro. So, and it kind of uh, goes over the, the details of the artifact, because the watchtower commander tells you what it is. So, cognitive malfactorum. Sure. It is.
No, the other two. The 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 because the, the uh, remember the the Marines were going to disclose that information to you guys, and this is the information they know of these things. No, but that was their mission. That was the one that the guys you rescued, the two, the two survivors. All right, so I'll get to mission number four. That should also be in your guys' book. <clears throat> yep, Watchtower. Welcome, Death Watch. I trust your journey here was uneventful. And he's talking to you, Yelmug. Yes, we only lost a space marine, but otherwise very uneventful. He, he says, I must first express my gratitude for bringing back as many men as you did. The recovery of our brethren is invaluable, and your efforts are co are commendable. By the I way, have... do we know what from what chapter those saved space marines are, or from uh, which chapters? Ultramarines. Ultramarines. Okay. Uh, I have a mission data. I I have mission data ready for you. Your your choices for the next mission await. May the emperor guide you in your decision and your path to victory. Because he's basically telling you guys are very. Um, sought after now, and then you're getting many requests. So, of basically help, 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 help. And he's like, You guys are, you guys know what you're doing. You guys are free to choose what you want. Uh, and he also uh, comforts you and lets you don't have to worry about Blackthorn. Good. He was a pain in our ass. Pain I mean, Imperium's ass, too. Well, he didn't. They, he's not dead. He's just. You don't have to worry about him. I know, but I'm just saying, if if you want to do something about it. No, he does. His, uh, they basically tells you he does his job. Uh, he just. They made it. The commander made it known. Made it known that he's very unhappy with him, and uh, <clears throat> that he's not going to do any more work with this particular inquisitor so fetch his own uh dogs basically take a hike get lost uh so inquisitor orthodomos is uh reaching out to Bersor and secure comms is that the first inquisitor or the one we were just with orthodomos is your first inquisitor your your best bud the one who brought you into the set game ah right Sure. I mean, you can talk. You can just talk, or you can, you can type it. Either one's fine. Uh, he's just asking for a basic rundown report of the artifact recovery and if all went well. I filled in on what happened then. Okay. Uh, he has some inquiries about Blackthorn. He asks your assessment of him. He's growing more unstable. Right, so... He would prefer if you keep a close eye on him. Uh, he's already had discussions with him about uh, his stupidity during the last mission, and that wasting space marines is uh, not something they do. And he's borderline heresy here. So he, 
Yeah, so he's asking you to just keep a close eye on him, and if he uh, comes up again, go ahead and deal with him. And you can take his place. Deal with, deal with him? Yes. All right, then. If he becomes a pain... Right. Yeah, and he said you could just take his place in this sector. <laughs> Damn, all right. If he becomes a pain in the side. So just keep a close eye out. Keep your keep your networks uh, flowing. See what you can get intel on this guy. Because he's suspecting certain things, but he's not. He's unsure. Considering how unstable he is, he might even have to try to come after the Death Watch at one point. Right. He says they're good friends, but he's never acted like this before. They are this crazy. He <laughs> should say, or careless. Well, he is hunting for demon artifacts now, so he, right one might have an influence on him. Your character wouldn't know anything about the artifact because that that debriefing was for uh, Death Watch, by the way. So you wouldn't be allowed in the watchtower. You'd be held at the lobby because he's he's in inquis inquisition. Yeah. It's like yeah, you just wait in the lobby. So it's it's up to Yelmug or any of the people in the group if they want to divulge the information to you. So I'm I'm, a, I'm going to assume they won't. Cause it's top secret information. Uh, but the Inquisitor asks about the artifact. Uh, Death Watch has it in its secure containment. Hey, that's good enough for me. Right. So, the inquis this Inquisitor alludes that he he knows what it is. So, get the Watchtower still, the new Watchtower. Karn of nods. As in like a, a greeting of sorts. And so the nodding war has begun. Yes. <laughs> it's a ceasefire for now, yeah. Right. Well, tell me, Verlo, what are your strengths? I'm sorry, firing solutions for hand weapons. I see. You've seen Brasora do this multiple times.
Thank you, Brother Virlo. Yeah, and then the watch commander approaches you, Heraclades, and he asks, may I speak with you in private, Heraclades? Yeah, do you, do we not want the other captain to join us? He's just, he's not a captain, he's a watch commander, but he kind of looks at you puzzling. I was, I was talking about Captain Dominiego. No. Okay. Just you. Understood. <laughs> Just want to know, like, I'm not the captain of the squad. We have two captains. Oh, he's aware of who you are, so he's want to talk to you in private. Cool. So, I mean, just as long as we don't, you know, get into that whole "there's twelve captains suddenly" thing. I mean, <laughs> I lost my ship, so I'm not a captain anymore. Ah, uh, the 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 Inquisitor is going to requ uh, requisition you a new one, so. Uh, so, speaking but, of which, should I get another character? So you can if you're going to be death watchy now. I mean, you can keep your character. Could I bring Zeal back into this? The medic. Yeah, you can alternate between the characters. They're still your character. She just but did yeah. a uh, crazy escape from uh, the previous Inquisitor and found herself on this. Uh, no, she's. No, just uh, she just Arthur, left. She just left. Orthodomos uh, brought all the Death Watch people over to you guys. So Blackthorn just basically is not going to talk to you guys, including my squad of librarians. Uh, so that's what Valerie and Kane has to talk to you about. Oh, okay. So uh, I he, he comes up to you, he approaches you, with sad look at his eye. I'm um sad to inform you, your squad has been uh destroyed, eliminated. No! Wipe from the face of the earth. How so? You cheated too much with them. No. Uh, they sent them on basically a suicide mission to deal with um, uh, chaos forces on, on the outer, outer fringes of the Imperium, and they haven't heard back from them since. And they're assumed KIA because the planet was destroyed. Oh, shit. Yeah, they they oh. they, ex they exterminate the chaos forces. Yeah, exterminatus, exterminatus. They exterminatus the planet essentially. The chaos forces and left it a uh, barren hulk. So their presumption is that they are all killed. The chaos forces did the exterminatus, not our forces. That's right. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, they they did. I'm just describing you. I was what... gonna say that's one petty inquisitor. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, for real. No, no, no. It, yeah, so presumption is like um, defector forces, but he gives you a rundown that none survived, and you're the last. Understood. Of your squad, um, and you're and you're yeah, you're the last of it. So uh, he says you're, you're more than welcome to stay here and make this your home. I mean, it's it's not like my my watchtower has been destroyed, so I could just go back to them. That's true, you can. But I'm not going to stop playing this character. <gasps> right, I mean, but there's... Because it was just squad, it was you guys. Who else would be at the watchtower? Because it was just you guys, effectively. I, I really doubt our watchtower consisted only of my squad. Your squad is pretty powerful. And a bunch of librarians. But you're right. So there's probably there's other Death Watch there, for sure. Yeah, yeah, but you know, the librarians would normally be spread around multiple squads. But I'm sure for a particular mission we gathered them. And they got they gathered them for this mission too. So they're doing something of similar uh, threat level. And they were they were all wiped out, and he wanted to tell you personally. Because he's getting reports of that. Uh, it says, do you want their last coordinates? If you want to go see if you can locate them. Because the Imperiums gave one off them. But it's up. He says. <clears throat> That's what he's telling you. Like, do you want their last coordinates? For posterity in our records, sure. Alright, so he hands you the, the coordinates of their last known location. 
is that it's possible they gotten off that world before it was destroyed, but you know, I don't know what librarian trickery you guys can do. I know ours are pretty powerful, so maybe they can have teleported away or got some means to get off world before all was lost. Well, it would have to be a miracle for them to have survived. Granted, we've done miracles before, so I guess it's not that out of the realm of possibility. So, yeah, so you do guys have another mission selection, which would be that one, the rescue or investigate loss of your team. So let me add that to that list there. In the lobby? <laughs> yeah, you're just sitting in the lobby. Uh, right. Uh, but Moth, you are requisite. The, the Inquisitor Orthodomos, you are given a new ship. So you feel, feel free to name your new vessel. You're getting another frigate. Ooh. Right. So name it the William D. Porter. Right. Uh, yeah, you can get a second. That was the name of a, a very tragic ship during World War II. And by tragic, I just mean it was terrible. It almost killed the president. Uh, it did friendly fire in the Pacific Coast during an engagement. Uh, it bombarded uh, an admiral's yard at during a, a guest party, only to be unceremoniously sunk as target practice later. Damn. So, Moth, here here's your selection of ship classes. Oops, I'm at the BGM, but there's your selection of ship classes. Let me hide those, but it's GM because that's confusing. There you go. Oh, no, I, I got I removed that. Oh, yeah. No, but the watch commander he assures uh yeah uh, you that your guy that sacrificed himself will be turned into a dreadnought. And they say they they stabilized him and that it's gonna take some time. Most excellent. I think that was his dream. It's an odd dream, but it was his dream. And he just looks at you puzzling and is like, I suppose. That's an odd desire to want to have being tuned. I mean, he, he was of the technic, the tech priests, so. Yeah, our, he says our tech priests are rather peculiar as well. Our the tech marines. Yeah, wanting to be one with machine thing. It's weird, but hey. But that, that is kind of their purpose in life, so it stands to reason. <laughs> Indeed, brother. Right, so... What is your character's name? New character? Rookie. No. Bal oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, Rookie. Okay, so... What is your what is your death watch team called? Your kill team? 
We don't, we don't have, have a name. Have a name. Hmm. No. We we have like a standard name of being like a kill team, alpha, kim team, kill team, delta, something like that, but we don't really have a name. Kill team mission impossible. Or kill team impossible. And right. So I was talking to I think specifically you since you would be in charge there, Eric Ladies. He's talking to Virlo. Virlo and you. I guess I can. Yeah. Uh, Considering you were doing it before. Yeah. Virlo, your new assignment is to learn from the best. I'm assigning you to shadow this kill team before you. If you will have him, that is, Captain. Well, you'd have to ask the captain of the kill team, Dominego. And he looks at you puzzling. By all intents, I heard you were in charge. Right. I was the squad leader for the last mission. But this kill team belongs to Captain Dominego. And he looks at his data pads like, well, then your reputation precedes you. And then I will ask him. My kill team has perished on a chaos planet. He understands that part. He thought you, you, you were uh, pulling some heavy weights here with all these kill teams and that you uh, were in charge of all of them, in charge of everything. No, no, Watch Commander. I've merely in fact, was on loan to this kill team, but it seems my loan status is a little more permanent than it was before. Right. He says, in fact, if, with the rank of captain, you should be in charge of many kill teams if I'm understanding how you operate. Your character would be in charge of, if you remember, um, you know, Mug. Right, but it sounds like my watchtower has just been destroyed. I'm no, just, just, just your 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 librarian kill team. They that you're associated with them. That you're they're well known, and that uh, if they were to go missing, they would inform you of all things. They find a way to contact you, because that was your your boys essentially. Yeah. Yep, the Death Star. Right, yeah, Death Star. Death Star. Oh, that was that was the kill team Death Star. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty good, weren't they? Um, so, well, well, that's fine. Uh, so, want to take out a Titan? You send Kill Team Death Star, right? So, so he asks Dominagos, and he, but Dominagos is not anywhere around, so he'll presume that it is okay. <laughs> it's like he goes with you. Follow Eric, ladies. Is the way he tells you. Uh, Beer low. And then he introduces you. To, he introduces himself to you, Karnoff. He says, "I have heard much about you. I am honored. Yes, I have a few squad, uh, kill teams I could learn from you. Um, in fact, I have one, a couple of salt marines. Would you mind teaching them? That's what he tells you. It would be an honor to do so. All right. So you now have." Uh, those two guys you rescued, they're going with you. All right. You can make your own death t uh, kill team death star. Oh. Oh, yeah. So they're both ultramarines. Ultramarines, yes. And I think I already have right. character sheets for them. Let me see. Let me double check. Because there was... Find it again. I think it was Gavius, right? Uh, I think that was Gavius was from Karen's team. Okay. Uh, and then the two unnamed Ultramarines were in chained and, and shackled. Oh, that's right. So I didn't make a character sheet for them, so I will just create two blank character sheets. All players, and then be by. Uh, Dan, 
and then I'll just name it. Rainy one. And they're going to have half as much experience points as you if you want to cr actually create these guys. All right. So they'll shout at you. You can, and they would be assault marines like you. So, uh, so the watch commander is that asks, "Is there any provisions, rest, or anything else you, that you guys need?" Um, we've requisitioned your apothecary from Inquisitor Blackthorn, and they'll be arriving within the day. Was there anyone else you left on board that ship? I think you mean you rescued the apothecary from Inquisitor <laughs> Blackthorn. And he kind of just chuckles, yeah. <laughs> I would require multiple weeks of rest due to my wounds I have suffered. Oh, yeah, you guys are going to be resting for quite some time. Um, Agreed. So... We, have, we have not had a rest for some missions now. Yeah, because yeah, the, the Watchtower Commander tells you all these missions that are before you, they're at least... Um, five to ten years out to travel to these destinations. They're on the other side of the Imperium. So, you may take as long as rest as you want after you select your mission. Understood. God damn, five to ten years. Yep. And there's, there's, I was looking up the lore for this. There's some that go a century or some that go longer depending on how good the navigators are like so yeah. so it can be but you guys live a long time basically almost yeah. forever so yeah, but, but our battle yeah. sister doesn't so <laughs> we can't really do too many of those for now yeah, she'll die real fast no yeah. i know but five five years won't kill her also with the travel of the warp and stuff technically we move through time differently when we travel yeah. through that that's true but uh, yeah, the rest of the, the rest of the universe would be five yeah, years yeah. to you. There's a lot of there's a lot of weird time dilation stuff as we move like just near light speed and other other things. Yeah, that and the warp is outside normal space time. We could come out a hundred years in the future for no reason, or a hundred yep. years in the past. Yep, we could exit the warp before we got the mission. Yep, that's hilarious. Yes. That's why there's a specific Ordo Chronos of Inquisition which that deals with this stuff. That sounds interesting. Love the mess of that Time sometimes. Cops. That is that is a campaign right there. That's what uh, Karen's character is also involved with. Like if you read his backstory, so I did. yeah, that's he's over ten thousand years old. I know that. Yeah. It's always random. It's always random. You don't yeah, know, you, what, like, you anyway, don't know. which way it would dilate. Yeah, you guys are well renowned. So this watch commander knew who you guys were. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we do have now uh, outrageous amount of outside of safety. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why you have all these mission selections because you guys are being asked to go to all these things, but the 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 watch commander knows you can only go to one of these things. So he leaves it up to you because, like, was, why not, right? He knows you'll get it done. He's confident you get it done. Karn Alpha would walk walk up to actually would um would Ericlides share the fate of his squad being taken out of the rest of us? Say again? Would Ericlides um, share the fate of the squad being wiped out? Probably not. Alright. 
No, no they are clear his rescue mission is rescuing his the squad mates. That's what mission eleven is. Right, or, but he is asking we, if I would have informed the rest of the of everyone else. Oh, my previous squad of librarians bit the dust. Possibly, prob probably not. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. So I, I probably wouldn't have. Yeah, it seems very shared personal. That knowledge. Yeah, it's very personal and secret. So, so uh, we also wouldn't know about that mission. No, you'd have you'd have no clue of mission eleven unless right. Eric Hayes told you specifically. Then I'll await the decision of others. Right. So, so as for a ship, do you guys want something tanky? Do you want something with a lot of firepower, or do you want something that's more standard for the Adeptus? Well, ways? our previous ships that we've been on, quite a lot of them have blown up around us. Can't help, but they roll bad. That's just how that's gonna happen. So either something really sturdy, or maybe something that can just fly faster than other things. Fast and stealthy. Well, I'd have access to a Firestorm frigate, a Gladius frigate, and a Secure Class Monitor cruiser. The, uh, the cruiser's the tanky one. The Gladius is, well, it's used by the Adeptus Astartes everywhere. It's their mainstay ship. Then the Firestorm has a big fuck-off LAS cannon just mounted on the front. No. Th this is Warhammer. We're, we're not elves. Well, Eldar have elves, but... Not, yeah, we're, we're not, not Eldar. Period. We're not elves. No, but we're the Death Watch, and we wouldn't shy away from using cloaking. Also, it's the Inquisition. Yeah. You guys want to requisition that uh, mod? Shy away from using it. You you could ask for a modification to your vessel. A Secutor class monitor cruiser with a cloak. Uh, I mean, Moth would have to roll, roll 1d100 if he can procure it, because it'd Fucking be... Let's, let's have the last kid from the Firestorm in, too. Let's go! Yeah, so, uh, anything under 30, you'll, you get the, uh, cloaking device, Moth. Requisition roll. Alrighty. So I'm assuming you want to add that to your vessel, the way you guys are talking? Uh, yes. Okay, anything under 30, you get it. Roll 1d100. And then what else did you? What other modifications did you want? The big fuck off cannon that. from the firestorm. Yeah, see if I can't get one of those mounted on it. Uh, it's a huge modification to a ship, though. Right, anything under forty, he'll give it to you. Uh, but it'll take more time to get to you. Thirteen. Nice. Yep. So you got it. So he says it'll take about six months to get out to you. Fair enough. And I definitely am going to go with the uh, monitor cruiser, the secutor. Secutor. And the modifications? Oh, what else? You can get two more. Sucks you can get the cloak, though. Some sort of med bay would be probably good if we don't have a medical on board. Or it is an Adeptus Mechanicus fleet ship, so maybe I could get a specialized uh, Dreadnought Repair Bay? Yeah. Anything anything under 50, he'll give it to you. And it'd still be six months. 29. There you go. Well, we got one more that we can try and get. One more, one more, one ideas. more modification we can put. Uh, yep. So what, what, what is the the secondary class monitor like? What is its typical role and other such? Uh, it's a, it's an insufficiently armed light cruiser. Secular uh, secu class. Secular class monitor cruiser. Yeah, I'm going to give you the description for it. Da -da -da -da. 
This one is slightly better than the normal Secutors and significant armor plating. But it's got less speed. But it's, speed. it's slower, yeah. Yeah, give me one. That's, that's what happens Almost when you make a ship tanky. Do, do, do. Then maybe a uh, prototype uh, enhanced engine. And I'll put this in the... A stronger void shield. Make it even tankier. Nope, here it is in Discord. And I got it too. Oh. Yeah, that's basically what the wiki for Warhammer is. There. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. There you go. Yeah, I put a hand out. You guys should be able to see it. Oh, let's see. Oh. There you go. Secutorship now. There you go. Secutor class. It's moth. I mean, it's what moth wants, so it's what moth gets. All right, moth was the last modification. It's basically a big f off ship. It sounds like. Yeah, pretty much. Because remember, uh, what was it? Uh, Eric Clay is like something more durable. It is a mobile battle station. Very slowly mobile, but mobile nevertheless. That's what I'm saying. Maybe I have a modification for the engines to make it more mobile. Yeah, engines sound like a good idea then. Okay. Uh, anything under 40, you can get better engines. 88. Nope. You get the standard dookie engines. Can I fate point any of these rolls? Of course you can. Then I will fate point the cloak first. Okay. Nailed it. Yeah, but if we're cloaks, then we don't need engines now, do we? Nope. So, there's your three mods. So, cloak, big fuck-off gun, and a dreadnought repair bay. So now you can keep his dreadnought, because you guys know he's coming on the battlefield without having to go, go back to the Watch Tower to get him repaired. And what was the name of your vessel, Mom? I'll give you. I'll just, I'll just give you a handout so you can uh, write the stats for this thing. Should we requisition a crew? Already right, comes. It comes okay. with the crew. Because okay. uh, it's coming from the Inquisitor or Orthodomos. He's like basically supplying Moss because he's his throne agent, and he's done well. And he's sending more agents with you, Moff, to set up a spy network for Blackthorn Inquisitor. So, he wants you to keep a very close eye on him. So you're getting, I'll, I'll give you two more character sheets to get those guys. Oh yeah, by the way, I only see one trainee sheet. Oh, uh, let me, yeah. Let me check them. My last ship was named the Twilight's Shield. And it didn't really shield much of anything. <laughs> they should name this one like the, the Speedy Boat or something. Even though it doesn't go fast. Sandwich. Yeah. Paint it blue. There you go, Moth. You got two Throne Agent uh, sheets. So. He's. Ah. Uh -huh. So there's. So you, Moth, you can edit those guys any way you want. Um, just make them half, half experience points of you. If you're going to make up the characters. Already? 
And they won't be with you per se, but they'll be in the sector doing your bidding. Ah, gotcha. Setting up a spy network. And then Eric Hayes, during this time, the six months for the new vessel, are you going to be training or are you going to be, what is your character going to be doing in the meantime? Are you going to be heading back to your watchtower? Don't know. And Karnath, what about your character? Uh, over the the half a year of waiting, uh, Karnath would probably be training his new students and just getting better himself so training alongside them sweet i mean if i were to do the responsible thing as a captain i would probably communicate back to my watchtower for further orders so the watch commander tells you that the and inform him of blackthorn's nefarious nonsense he tells you it's out of his jurisdiction for that part. Uh, oh, yeah, sure, but you know, at least he can be made aware and go, fuck off, Blackthorn. Right, so, um, but he tells you that the loss of your team is unacceptable. If there is a way he can investigate the matter, that would be most appreciated. He says you guys are an invaluable asset, and the loss of a, a kill team, especially a librarian kill team, is uh, unacceptable. Well, he says your other two kill teams at your disposal, um, he can get them out to you if, if you need be, Captain. So who who sent my librarians on a mission? The watch commander tells you that he sent them on a mission to deal with the demonic entities. Okay. So he says that's why you were sent on your mission to deal with that, the artifact, mm -hmm. and go with that kill team. Um... Because that's where the Inquisitor needed you. So it was at the request of the Inquisitor. And this other mission was at the request of uh, the Watch Commander. Basically, he tells you to uh, their networks. Um, they were given intel that this was happening. They were trying to get the best team out there possible to deal with the situation. Because they're dealing with a lot of demonic taint, a lot of psyker bullshit. So... Cool. Then I would request that one of my kill teams be sent out to just do like a preliminary scouting, see if they can't get any evidence of uh, the other kill team survival. You're going to send out the other two kill teams to go investigate? Yeah. All right. Like, no no hardcore engagements on anything, just, you know, preliminary, preliminary scouting and information gathering. It just to see if they find any evidence that uh, they may have survived. Got it. He says uh, they can also send some of the Inquisition over there as well to investigate the matter, but it's very difficult to get to that, that area right now. So, but he says you're, you're wiser than Death Watch. They could probably deal with it better than the Inquisition. So, that's what he'll do. And then he asks if you need any, any resources Ships, vessels, any of the sort. I mean, if you give me a battle barge, that'd be great, but no. Um, I says we only have the one. Yeah, no, I don't need a battle barge. Don't even know what mission I'm going on. Hey, did did the old battle barge ever get recovered? It was it was cleansed. It was demonic, possessed, they destroyed it. Ah. That's the intel you guys got on that. The last known of that. It was literally had tentacles growing out of it, trying to oh. eat people. Remember? I mean, if they had waited a bit, we would have killed the warp entity, and that all would have gone away. They had to deal with it. So. They just destroyed, yeah, they just they destroyed the whole thing. Uh, 
I would tell the, him that instead of uh, sending me any requisition to uh, equip those two kill teams that went out on reconnaissance with whatever they need to uh, survive and succeed at their mission. So all available resources to the two kill teams. Yeah. Okay. So they it says, okay, is that he'll send the the fleet to go with them. I ask, is there anything else, Captain? That's all, Commander. And my orders, what are my orders? What would you like me to do? And he thinks about it. You are you are where you need to be. I need you to uh, stay with that watch command. He needs more additional help there as well. That's why I had you go, and go where you went. Understood, Commander. Right, so, and he says, keep an eye on Blackthorn as well. We're getting some reports about him. Just keep keep your uh, ears low. The Brazora gave him to you. Did you divulge the information, Brazora? I've been in the lobby. Right, because I'm assuming that was just, that's top secret intel, basically. The Inquisitor is keeping it, so keeping it within the... Yeah, Brazora would have only talked to her Inquisitor. Right. And he would, like, he's telling you, don't tell anyone else, basically. You know not to tell anyone on this secure channel. So. Possibly. Doubtful. Could have been somebody else. Yep. Well, I did also give a report to that Watch Commander about everything that just happened with Blackthorn, so. No, uh, I mean no. Uh, so the watch commander tells you he got that report. He's telling you there's there's some other other questionable things. He's not quite a rogue, but the loss of so many death watch on that barge is unacceptable. So they're keeping a, a close eye on him. And with him being so high up where he's at, it's not easy to just deal with him like they normally would. So. They say it's a very um, delicate matter. So they need more evidence on any uh, foul play, wrongdoing, heresy, etc. So that's your mission. To do that, that's your yeah secondary mission. He says he knows you can't, you're not the Inquisition, and you can't fully investigate it. Um, you might have to get with that throne agent that you're close to. See what she knows. Was there anything else, Eric, ladies? Nope, that is all. Clear as mud? As always. He uh calm the calms out. So, so do you have an understanding of what you need to do there, Ericlades? Yep. Sweet. And then Moth, are you making your ship currently? Uh more or less. See if we get. Let me move you guys to an interior. Oh, yeah. So. Ceremony. Small ceremony. You guys don't have a watch watch commander anymore. He's, he was killed in that barge, wasn't he? Yes. So you guys need a new home. Uh, so the watch commander extends his welcome to you guys. At his watch command. Watchtower. And as a literal station on an asteroid. 
It's like the Teen Titans Tower almost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Karnov uh, accepts. Right. That's hilarious. Uh, it's a DH for, or DW for Deathwatch. Yeah. Okay, so da, 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 champion space marine. One second. As far as the rest of my downtime, it's going to be mostly seclusion training as I up my psi rating by two points, gain those two psychic powers, and then the occasional training with uh, Karnoff as I learn how to dodge better. Oh hell yeah! I I also learned how to dodge better. Are you also took step aside? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I also increased my dodge skill. Nice. All right. So the watch commander says he has a ceremony for you. Very well. So. No chapter master word. So. And then you're supposed to recite something. Let me. You're supposed to recite, I am my lord for the emperor and for for your chapter's name, wherever your chapter is. Uh, I am a black <laughs> shield and like I cannot do that. Really? Uh, black shields purposefully hide their chapter's name unless they, like if it's a self-exile or if it's a something exile or something something, uh, unless uh, by some means they feel like they're ready to represent their chapter again. They will not reveal the name of their chapter. All right. I guess you can just do... Just say Black and Shield instead. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do I have to recite again? I'll put it in, I'll put it in chat. Yeah, you don't want everyone knowing that you're a Night Lords. But then again, <laughs> is it really a bad thing? Uh, no one knows. I'm a black shoot. Right, so let's see. Da, da, da. I just threw out a Chaos Marine chapter. You see yeah. you see the first that, thing? That seems fitting for what he would be. Either that or like uh, the World Eaters or... I mean, as long as he's not the same one as uh, the... I forgot his name. Wait, whose name? What? The new guy. Varro? Wait, not Varro. Uh, yeah, sorry, the the new guy before that new guy. Oh, uh, uh, Karen? Wait, what? Yeah. So, yours is the where it says nominated Marine, which is you. So you'd be reciting those. I'm looking. Uh, okay, I I step yeah. forward and I kneel. Uh, I yeah. am my lord for the emperor and for the uh, death watch. I say death uh, watch. Okay. Uh, with this blade, you shall uphold the virtues of our of our chapter. Smite the foes. He's basically in, in bringing you into the watchtower. Smite the foes mm -hmm. of mankind. May it cleave through armor and bone and easily cut through doubt and fear. He lowers his blade. Rise and take your shield. And he hands you a new shield. Same stats as the old one that got destroyed. Oh, hell yeah. And then uh, you rise with the shield strapped on you. With this shield, you will protect the Battle Brothers as the Emperor protects humanity. You're a bastion against the tides of chaos and Xenos' filth that threaten to engulf us. Battle Brothers, salute your new champion. I nod in salute. Right. And then he's going through the same... Basically, are you guys also going to be joining the new this uh, Watchtower as well? Or you're not... What, who, who's not in a Watchtower? Moss character is Inquisition. Is it to be Dominguez? 
I guess. Heraclides is in his own chapter, and Domenego is also without a watch commander at the moment, yes. Okay. Well, I guess when he gets back, we can do the same thing for him. We could say he's just recovering. Or Yeah, it'd be... Because yeah. he, he did go out of his way to get all the resources necessary to, to help... Um... Oh, I, I guess Zeal is also without a chapter. Yeah, without Zeal a, would have to do it too. Yeah. Yep, Zeal, Dominego, uh, Karnoth, and Tesseract. Or, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the dead boy, are all yeah. chapters. Actually, would, Neil, we, would, we be able to, would we be able to meet Neil Tyson or... Would it be possible? There yeah. You go. Uh, he's asking if you want to, to meet him. He says he's still being worked on. Very well. It's going to be years until he's ready to be seen. Very well. Which in uh, session terms would be about three or four. Maybe less. Might just do the next session he can bring him about. Uh, with... Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm just... Zeal, she might be powerful enough to help out. She does not get XP like the rest of us. Whatever XP was is what it is. So. Yeah, I but... still, she still has 5,000 XP I never spent on her. Okay, cool. Because she was pretty OP, even not leveled up to the current level. Only in medical tests. Right. And the Watch Commander uh, comes over to you, Eric Lades, and the rest of the kill team, and they ask, have you guys thought about the mission you wish to, wish to take? These missions are pretty critical, and we do not have enough kill teams to deal with all of them on our own. So if you could take a one, that would be much appreciated. Uh, Alright, well, speaking of which... Um... Oh no, man. Uh, I mean, my vote would be like the Tau expansion or the Rogue Trader or the Planetary Governor's Rescue. Really? I guess we should write them all down. I already did. There's a handout. Mission four. Mission four. Handout. No, no, no. I mean, like, who votes for what? Ah. Oh. Yeah. Is there not a way to do a vote on this thing? Nope. Oh. I mean, we could do the card thing, but that's a little janky. Does Discord have a vote system? No. Damn. You technically, technically do. Well, like for a preliminary vote, as in like... We, yeah, just to see you... which missions we're all interested in doing kind of a thing. Yeah. Dominagus, we're going to assume his character is out with uh, Neil Tyson. He's doing everything he can to get the resources needed for him. So he's on a pilgrimage this, this session for the next, last six months. He did spend three fate points to save his boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I read his mind and still pick out the choices he wants. That's hilarious. That's not how it works. But... <laughs> Actually, I will. What is this? Like, Karnoff will ask when like presented with a choice, what do you think? You guys have bad luck with orcs. Uh. All right. 
uh, Moff. First, personally, I was thinking the Tau expansion with the Adeptus Mechanicus Research Facility Defense. I know because my new ship is an Adeptus Mechanicus built ship, and if there's a research facility, it might have a weapon we could throw on it and get it even more powerful, but hey, that's just me being selfish. Then I also got to thinking, Tau are real good at shooting, and we're half melee. Yeah, that's fair. Good. Yeah, um, Demoral Incursion seems like a bad idea. Oh, we don't want to play anymore. Let's go fight a demon planet. You got planetary defense, and yeah, defenses or something of that nature. I think I'll think of something creative. Well, so three or four, one to facility, facility defense, uh, tower expansion halt, vessel boarding, uh, demon incursion. Yeah. In that order, I'm gonna write them down. Uh, uh, I got to thinking the Tau expansion might be a bad idea, and the Wog suppression might be a better one, even though we have real bad luck with orcs. Well, that was that those particular orcs that was really good. At I've I lost a character the last time I went up against orcs, but that was for a different reason, right? Mm -hmm. But it's still oh orcs. Yes. No, no, we didn't. We weren't up against orcs. We were up against some terrible psychic demonic entity. Okay, okay. The mission we were on was fight some orcs, and two characters died during those types of missions. We weren't actually fighting orcs at the time of our character death, but that was what the mission was. <laughs> now it becomes boring if I always do that, and then and then magic happens. You notice that wasn't here. It was like it's just demon shit you're dealing with, right? Very standard warp fire. Oh, bullshit warp fire mines. Oh, marines that shoot at us. That's all that happened. Why don't you roleplay this? Sounds like a roleplaying opportunity. Stealth or long-range combat. Pretty much what I was doing, but yeah. more stealthy. Somehow, but big space marine. But uh, sorry, but actually stealthy in doing it, rather than I get lucky and crawl through a vent, and nobody <laughs> notices. So, vessel board, governor rescue, possibly the Ercladies rescue mission. But Eric Hayes would have to divulge the information first. 
You guys don't know of that one? Yeah. I, don't, I also don't want to, like, you know, take an ambition. It's like, we're going to go completely blind into a de demon-infested zone of space. The rest of people who may or may not be dead from a planet cracking. Carnap would do that. I'm, I'm sure, but, like, once my, uh, my other kill teams you. send back information of something more concrete, then we might go on that. Then I might bring it up. Until then. You're just asking them to go and stealthily look and observe and pull out, not engage. Right, yeah, yeah, not engage. Full recon. But yeah, full recon, though. You know. Like, infiltrate, in recon, find evidence. Um, you know, I mean, if they have to fight something, they'll fight it. But they're not going to, like, go and try and kill someone or anything like that. Just full information gathering. Yeah, I'll roll and t tell you what they find. I will be right back. So. Oh, it rolled pretty well. So those kill teams report back to you that um, they went to their last known location. The planet is very desolate, eerily, eerily so. Uh, it is a hellscape that was once luscious and green. A couple of them remember it, what it used to look like before the invasion. Um, they found signs of an engagement. With the the psyker, the psyker's doing their psyker bullshit. They they know how you guys operate. Uh, they found a couple of the bodies already. That a majority of them seem to be already dead. Uh like over half, at least confirmed dead. You had how many did you have last time? You had, you had seven. I had six left, I think. Six. Okay, because so I had three. seven, one died, so I had six left. Yep, three are confirmed dead, and. They are able to trace the last remaining three to a facility on on the planet, and they're, it looks like they're being held captive there. They rolled really well, so. Okay, well now that I actually have information, I would yeah. bring it up. <clears throat> so. so. To those gathered, including Bismora, Bisora. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> why would you conclude such a thing? I don't understand. Are, are you a Medicaid? Right, but why would you assume that she has explosive diarrhea? Because she's been gone. And I just had a horrible uh, revelation uh, about uh, Nilligrass Tyson becoming a dreadnought because he's obsessed with spanking guardsmen. Yes. And as a dreadnought, that's not going to end well. No. About how to spank the guardsmen. Power fist. I mean, technically, if it...
Yeah. Technically, Dreadnoughts can get those tendril-like things for arms. Yeah, but those are for only for chaotic. Mostly chaotic Dreadnoughts use those. Right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's the generic kind. I'm just wondering why there are guardsmen on the watchtower to begin with. <laughs> well, I think they're about to comic relief themselves out of existence. Uh, so we could probably end here shortly. Uh, we just wrap up loose ends with the vessel and mission selection. Um, Karnoff would be all for it. I mean, I was I was going to mention it and you know role play it out, but we're waiting on a monster to get back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. role play it up. So the secret mission, though, um, you'll still have options to those other missions because you can go do this mission and then come back and then choose another mission. That makes sense because this is yeah, like a yeah. personal mission. Yeah. So you'd have to role play and tell the watch commander what your intents are. Well. Yeah, there's would be it would be a very time sensitive thing, yeah. The surviving the surviving three. <laughs> ah, they stay the same. Whatever he had whatever character sheets are, there's still that. Oh, I oh, yeah. Like, touched their character sheets. <laughs> right. How much so... time has passed since we, like, entered, and now we have got this information that the Space Marines are alive? Be about the time the ships ships arrived. So, so six, six months. months. Yeah. Because yeah. it took a while. Tra... Yep. What's up? What's up? Uh, would my trainees get any experience by, well, training with me? The, what the experience I gave them, half your experience. Okay. Points. Okay. okay training okay. with you, they would get the half experience points. So that's what they get up to. Got it. I am back. Okay, cool. So Yeah. Yeah, they're both dead, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> See how it was silent? <laughs> See how it was silent? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they shot each other, but yeah. all right. <laughs> Whoopsie doops. Anyway, so I gather the kill team plus the new guy 
plus Brasora. So I've recently got information about my uh, librarian kill team. You're familiar with the ones, the ones that murdered uh, one of those de greater demons. Karnaf does the Death Star, yes? Yes, the, yeah, my kill team, Death Star. Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, they were then sent out on a mission in a demon-infested world, and the world cracked. But they are still alive. At least three of them are. But they're currently being held captive. Now, I would very much like to go and rescue them. But this is not necessarily one of our listed options. I would be much honored if you would assist me in this endeavor to rescue those three librarians. Because their loss would be very tragic. Oh, that's, I, I'm going to fail so hard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, oh, oh hey. no. <laughs> wow. Yes, he's on board with the idea, but he, he had a, it's like a horrible convincing. It's like, come to slow realization. Oh, I guess I'll go. Karnov simply steps forward. You have my sword and my shield. Your brand new spiffy shield with the, the new logo of this watch command, watchtower. Awesome. And my bow, I mean pistols. I owe them my life. Excellent. That's right. They, they saved you, didn't they? Mm -hmm. That was... Yep. Because they went with them. <laughs> They, uh, they have accomplished a greater demon. They, they've, as I said, they killed a greater demon. They've done many great things. If it weren't for them, we wouldn't have survived a particularly harrowing mission. I don't think you would have. So the the Death Watch team that's. The two Death Watch teams that went uh, ahead and scouted ahead, they tell you they're they're corn followers, followers of corn. De so a lot of okay. demon, a lot of demon ah. stuff, a lot of bullshit. That's, That's why they're still alive. So the forces that they were engaged with appear to be the forces of corn. They don't like psychers very much. So the fact that they still survive and are captured amazes me. But we know to be prepared for a very heavily melee-focused force. Is your also, character have possibly a lot of machines? Does your character have demon lore, or is his past experience? Oh, I, oh, true. I got Demonology and Warp, so not uh, Traitor Legion. But, I mean, Demonology and Warp would... Give you knowledge of the demon. Give me knowledge of corn. yeah. Right. I would only know of the Warp stuff. I would not know about corn specifically, I think. No. Yes. So, Eric Hades, you can do, uh, was it, lore, demon lore, and you can explain to these guys what they'll be up against. Any modifiers? Minus, minus 20. Ah, oh, success. So, you can totally inform them how to defeat these guys. You can guys get a plus 10 roll of hitting these guys. Oh, uh, yep, yep, I see, yep. Mm -hmm. And how to defeat them, so. Ah, so the turn of phrase is blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. I see. Right. Right, if anyone utters that phrase, shoot them in the face immediately. <laughs> Aside from what I just said. Right. Any other time after this, though, shoot them in the face immediately.
he sees a nun in the battle armor. So, right. Oh. So, uh, Ericlades, the kill team, also, the, the, the captain's still talking to you, that's in, or the captain, the guy in charge, the te kill team captain is the talking to you. Commander? Not the watch commander. Actually, the guys on the ground are talking to you directly. Uh, oh, okay. Like, My kill teams. Gotcha. Right. So the squad uh, leaders. Yeah, squad leaders. Thank you. Sorry. Um, hello. There. Hello. Heard for me. You're going to hold position and, I guess, wait for your arrival. Uh, Sorry, you cut out with a holla. Hello? Hello, hello. Hello, you're back. Oh, yeah. oh, uh, I didn't hear. Everybody was laughing. Oh, yeah, that's all I heard. So, <laughs> again. God damn it. Siege is interrupting. Hold position, wait for your arrival. The warp storm. Okay. Right? You cut out again, but I'm just going to assume that they're holding securing position. a drop site yes. for us to arrive at. That's correct. Okay. Cool. I'll relay that to our team. Yeah, because they, they, they're telling you they're going to need a lot more forces to deal with these guys. At least another kill team or, or possibly two more. So. Alright. Uh, well, in that case. Excellent. So they're I'm up glad to... all of you are uh, on board with this. I've yet to go and inform the Watch Commander of our decision here. Hopefully, that might be a bad idea. No, rescuing fellow space marines, especially well, well, ones powerful enough to take out a greater demon, I think they'd be pretty. He'd be pretty on board with this. No, yeah, I'm not uh, saying he wouldn't be on board. That I'm just saying. Did you hit the last part? I said we need reinforcements. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go and ask for reinforcements. Yeah. So they told you, they told you there's titans in the field and all that stuff. Oh. There's apparently oh. also titans on the field. It's a good thing I just got that one psychic <laughs> power. <laughs> yeah, they said there's a couple of warhound titans uh, guarding the facility. Oh, what a great time to have a dreadnought. Mm. <laughs> Is he ready? He, no, nope, he is not ready. Can we reposition right. a titan of our own? Death Watch don't have titans. <laughs> oh, we can ask. What is it? The knights? Like we can. Yeah, be we could probably request aid from the knights. Yeah. Uh, the gray knights? No, uh, knight chapters. Uh, they are uh, the imperial knights. You know the big giant robots. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see if you have those type of connect. Oh, you probably would. So you're gonna watch watch command to go. See if you can get connected with those guys. Would your character know of that chapter? I mean, I don't know what local... This is a completely different watchtower than what my character knows, and so he would not know what local um, nightclubs are in the area. Yeah, that so the... To be of assistance. Oh, yeah, no, no, if you can talk to your watchtower, it'd be Moth and the guys talking to the other watchtower. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So you're asking yours? Yeah. One second. And then... Y'all can ask your new watchtower. I'll go to uh, the, the, this watch commander and inquire they're, him. Yeah, they're able to secure uh, at least two Warhound Titans. I relay really that information to you. Uh, your no, no. Oh. Yeah, Eric, Eric Clady's guys, his watchtower did his role. And then what was yours, Dan? Oh, I did not roll. Uh, the... I am in this in this chap in this um, watch tower. I'm going to ask the watch commander if he can provide us with any knights to assist us in our mission. One, one uh, hound titan. They're able to procure for you guys. So you have a total right. of, total of three. You guys can deploy to the field. And I relay that information. And I'll have to make stats for those. 
So, it's a right. Be prepared for a very harsh fight. Right. The 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 stealth cruiser that's supporting the operations down below tells you there is a chaos like <laughs> looks like a black crusade fleet um within the sector the system just arrived so we'll have to bring you guys in via their ship You mean like right. global bombardments and such. Yeah, that that won't be an option cool. here. So they can the the cruiser that's stealth in there is going to have the stealth you guys in there because yeah. there is an opposing <laughs> fuck off fleet. And uh, let me see if the commander knows ETA on what kind of their response time here. So. Right. So the the commander tells you based on where the fleet's located at and the trajectory and all, all these other factors, it says you guys will have approximately five hours before that Black Crusade fleet's on top of you guys. So you guys got to make it quick. They don't know they're there yet at all, period. Uh, but that if you go hot, that's the amount of time you guys have. Then we better prepare. Yep. So it says we can do drop pod insertion. That'd probably be the safest way to get you guys in. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was imagining. Yeah. Yep. Because um... they already got their, their drop ship like, down there and hidden, they said. But that's like their only one that could stealth the way it does, so... Yeah, that'll be our that's our egress. Yeah. Yep. Um, do we know other than the fact that it's corn, what other kind of forces we're we're up against there? I mean, we know Black Legion. Black Legion's fleet is nearby. What's up? Well, I meant like on the ground. What's on the ground? On the ground. No, it's a it's a Black Crusade fleet, not Black Legion. It's just a, it's it's oh uh, like a crusading force of chaos. Like yeah, and, this, you know, and the group that's on the ground happens to be. Corn line, yeah. So they're all, so they're all presumed to be corn followers. So, right. But I mean, like uh, anything else, like other heavy vehicles, or is it just like you know a bunch of war bands and uh, you're asking for more warhounds? You're asking for more. Well, you guys have three warhounds. They only confirm they, they two, two. Yeah, they confirm two. It's confirmed two, but possibly more. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna do some more scouting then. So. Uh, he tells you that there is definitely a looks like a legion of uh, heretic infantry, and he says it looks like there is heavy vehicles, bunch of predator tanks. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. That's what so, I wanted to know. So we need heavy firepower, rocketry. I ex well, armor penetrating explosives. That kind of a thing. Right. And they did confirm other other chaos space marines on the field as well, like corn corn marines, or yeah. whatever the fuck you call them. But a lot of infantry though, more infantry than those guys. And uh, they said demons too. I think I said that demons. So yeah. So hordes of infantry, some space marines, a lot of heavy armor couple titans and then our favorite demons yes so when we requisition this up account for all of that you at least have three titans so yourself 
Hold up. Yes. Here. We're right back, guys. Oh, actually, we could probably we could probably end the session here. As you guys kind of know what you guys are doing. Sure. So yep. fifteen fifteen hundred XP. Sweet. Good role play session. Good introduction to Tesseract character. I'll see you guys later. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Good Let's deal. See yeah. Oh yeah. Can we spend it. that XP immediately? Yes. It's still in. Excellent. Yeah. All right, bye-bye. All right. Yep, see you next week. See you.